Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about what is param converter and how to use param converter in your custom module. So actually the param converter is nothing but it's a it's converting your argument from one type to another type. It's like casting, okay? So first uh, let me showcase this with some custom module. I already created a, a path welcome in our previous videos. Uh, so in that welcome page, it will be printing, welcome to our website, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to, hello, uh, the current login user is admin. So that message will be, hello admin, welcome to our website, okay? So to get the username of current login user, I am going to use the upcasting here. So let's go to your custom module. So this is the custom module for that page. Let me open it in Visual Studio Code. Open. So here, info file and next is routing. So this is the routing file. In routing file, I'm going to pass user ID. So I'm going to keep the name as user. And in this file, I'm going to get the user argument here, which is passing from that routing file. And I'm going to add concatenation here, which is hello. Hello, username and uh, welcome to our website, okay? So let's do upcasting first. So to do the upcasting, what you have to do, you have to add one more uh, values here, that is options, colon, next to parameters, so what parameters, for which parameter you are going to do? You are going to do for this user parameter. And this is what type of variable? It's an entity of user, okay? You have to mention it like this. So when it comes to taxonomy term, you have to use taxonomy underscore term. When it comes to node, you have to use node, okay? So you can use it for any clone content entity. When it comes for block content, you have to use block underscore content, okay? So that is how you need to mention here. So here I'm using user, so I'm keeping user here. And next, you have to add it in this user variable. So since it is a class, you have to add a namespace for that variable. So it's a use, use Drupal backslash, it's user module, user interface file, okay? interface file okay so now we add it so we have to add it in the argument so now we successfully completed this so whenever you do the changes in your uh, custom module yml file you have to clear a catchy as i already mentioned so let me go to the website and clear the catchy you can clear the catchy by using brush also so once once the catchy is cleared, you can see it's saying page not found because we changed the URL as uh, welcome slash ID. So I'm going to pass one here. So once you passed one here, you can see hello, welcome to our website, okay? So what it will do, I'm passing one here, right? The number, number of your user ID. We are not passing the whole object, right? What I'm going to do here in your this file. So this is a user variable where you will get the full object of your users. So routing file will convert your user ID into object. That is the action the param converter is doing, okay? It will convert your number ID into your object. By using this, this feature, you can optimize your code and also it will improve your performance. If you are not using param converter here, you need to do the entity load here. So the code will be, uh, the code also no, won't be looking good and also it will be uh, increasing your performance. By using param converter, you can optimize all. And next, uh, now we, we know that this is a user object, right? This is a user object. So next, what we have to do, we have to get the username of the current logged in user. So for that, what you have to do, you have to get a call a function called get account name okay so many many of you will not be uh will not be able to find which function we need to call at particular 
use case. Okay. So when you have issue like that, you have to go to your user.php. So we know that this, uh, this object is coming from this particular class. You can go to the file in your Chrome. So here you will have a link called view source and you have to uh, check which function will suit for your use case. So function is new label. You can use the label function also. It will display, it will fetch you the display label, this one. So you have to find all the functions. When you go to see the account, this account name function is getting the value from the name variable, okay? So this is what the exact function I want. So I am going to call that function and I'm going to use the value as username, okay? And here you can call that uh, label function also that will uh, give you the display label. So I'm going to do the concatenation here, dollar user name. And I have to add space after hello and here also okay comma space okay so now we successfully uh added account name to your message so let's reload now so now you can see hello admin welcome to our website okay so let's call label now and check how it is coming so you can see it is also printing the same value okay so this is how you need to use param converter in your custom module okay i hope everyone understood it if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye